All right, it is how we started our show, talking about um, whatever may or may not be a developing situation at Auburn. Uh, Justin Hokinson of Auburn Live on 3 Sports at underscore Jay Hokinson was covering a lot of it last night. He is with us here on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. Good morning, Hoke. Hope everything's going well. Yeah, going great, man. <laughs> uh, if you had to characterize where we are as we do this live, many will listen to this on demand. It is 926 on a Friday morning. Where are we? Um, I would say, you know, for, I would say, you know, obviously we reported that there's there's people actively trying to make the case uh, to, to get rid of Harson for cause. I would say where we are now is, um, you know, obviously waiting just if that's going to happen or not. I think I think stuff's moving right now. I mean, I'll say that. I think I think decisions are being made right now. I think meetings are happening at Auburn and and, and trying to figure out if it's going to happen and how it's going to happen. I think that's kind of where we're where we're at. I don't know for sure, obviously, at this point, if 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 they're going to decide to do it. It seems like it would be hard to go backwards at this point. I mean, I just I don't know how that would work, um, but. It, it seems like we're moving that direction is, is what it is what it feels like. And I would imagine if it happens, it's got to happen today or tomorrow. This, and this thing can't be, this is going to have to be done or not done. Well, we haven't been comfortable throwing any of the allegations that are being tossed around. I'm sure you're probably not comfortable going down that road, yeah. but you know, Hoke, it's not one, it's not two, it's like three, four different things uh, from people that you've talked to. There's got to be something. I mean, where there is smoke, there is fire. So, I mean, one or two of these allegations has got to be legitimate, right? Yeah. I mean, yes. I would say that there's things that are out there that are true. And I and I actually wrote this morning because I felt like people were – there was rumors that swirled, and then our report came out, and I think a lot of people put those together and said, see, the report means that everything I heard is true. And I just – I think it's important to not do that. There's a lot of stuff being thrown out that – is not true and there's people that are being hurt by some of that stuff and that's not good so um but yes there's some stuff being thrown out there i mean i guess you guys probably saw what lee hunter had to say on instagram in the last 10 minutes um basically calling coach harson out that he's he's a good coach but he's a terrible person um is, is what he said well, i don't know who lee hunter is yeah, so yeah. i mean who, who the hell is lee hunter okay. lee, lee hunter was a true freshman at auburn this past year he's probably the highest recruit in the class that, that when Malzahn left, okay, um, and he was a true freshman this year. He transferred to Central Florida. Um, so the Lee Hunter's from the state of Alabama, and he posted on Instagram, "Loves Auburn, grew up an Auburn fan, but uh, Coach Harson has the mindset of a great coach, but the mindset of a terrible person." Um, and he and he basically said that he was treated like a dog. Um, <clears throat> so that's come out this morning. And, and I'm sure there's more stories. That seems to be in line. If I had to lean one way about some of the things I've heard, I, that I would lean that way in terms of whether it's, you know, verbally, you know, abusive. I kind of hate that because, like, what does that mean? It's different to everybody. But um, I think some of that is going on where they've had complaints about maybe how he treats coaches and players. And um, But then, again, you got players that decided to stay. So that always confuses me. Derek Hall and Owen Papo and Colby Wooden. There's a bunch of guys that stuck around. Uh, so, Tank Bigsby. Yeah, Tank Bisbee. So there's there's definitely some truth to some of these rumors, but I I hate I hate that a lot of them are swirling around because a lot of them aren't true. Justin Hokinson is with us now. Um, you know, everybody will. It's always good to start saying, okay, if Harson's done, who's next? If Harson's done, who's next? You know, I've seen some odd timing hires in my long, long career. Now, it doesn't always seem to be the best situation for a program to make a coaching change out of cycle. Um, I, don't, I don't know how you feel about that. Do you feel like Auburn would, if, if the if the change is made, would they they look somebody on the staff already? Would you would you try to hire, you know, a, a, a one-year person? A, I hate to use John L. Smith as an example at Arkansas, but, yeah. you know, that's an example out there. Or do you think they would try to find a permanent coach uh, to take over the program for the next for you know next few years. Uh, no, I mean you're exactly right. The timing is uh, is is terrible. I mean I think there are, there are, there's a couple of options that I think make they make sense. They they kind of make sense. They're cert- they certainly make sense if you're if you're the, if you're some of these boosters that are trying to make this happen in the first place. 
One would be Kevin Steele. And, you know, they, they, they tried to hire him last year. Would he come in and be a one-year coach? Uh, how close is he to retirement in, in Alabama? Like, there's things there I don't know that potentially could make sense for him to come in and be a one-year guy, um, you know, or get the job. Like, so he, he's definitely going to be in the mix if Harson is gone. The other one would be Hugh Freeze. He's also a guy that the, the that uh, that people wanted last year, and uh, I would imagine that he would be. You know, I mean, it's February, but you tell me him and his staff wouldn't jump at Auburn. Of course they would. So those two, you know, considering the circumstances, wouldn't be terrible. You know, I mean, I don't think Hugh Freeze. Would be, considering the circumstances, if you landed Hugh Freeze in that staff, that wouldn't be bad at all. I mean, it could be a whole lot worse. But past those two, I don't know. I would say I don't think they're going to promote anybody. I mean, it, I think this would be. New staff, new new coach, clean house. I say clean house. I can't imagine anybody from Boise hanging around. I mean, how, how does that work? So there's definitely going to be some 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 changes. I don't think this is just promote a guy on the staff and keep rolling for a year. No way. Uh, Justin Hokinson is with us right now at J uh, underscore excuse me at underscore J Hokinson on Twitter. Auburn Live, part of On Three Sports. Um, have we passed? I mean, how close are we? Do you do you think for Brian Harson to the point of no return? This is a complete guess. I get that, Hope, but do you feel like we're approaching the point at some point? You can't continue in an environment like this. I agree. I agree. My my gut would say Harson doesn't come off to me as the person that would that would cower to this or say, you know what, if you guys don't want me, fine, I'm out. Like, my gut says he's the kind of person that would say, I'm here, we're winning, we have a job to do, fire me if you want, like, but I have a job to do. Like, that's my gut is he's that, he, he would do that versus going, you know what, if, if this is how it's going to be, I don't want to do this again in a year, why don't you just pay me half a bout and I'll peace out. Um, I don't think that's who he is. So, I, um, so, I mean, so it, it is a guess. I, I, I mean, I, I can see Harson being the kind of person that even if this gets resolved somehow and he stays, that he that he stays. And he, and he says, well, I don't. that's all talk. We don't worry about that. We just coach football, and, and they just move on. I could see that because I think Harson's that um, determined and that stubborn. When that happened with Tuberville, he ended up with all the power. Yeah. Now, he, I mean, look, he eventually, you know, eventually he had a bad enough year he got fired, but – he went from having none of the power to having all the power. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. And I said that to somebody yesterday. I go, I could absolutely see a scenario where if this played out and smoothed over and he stayed, I absolutely could see a scenario where fans rally around yep. him more so than anything he had. Now, it won't be quite like Tuberville because Tuberville had a, you know, some, 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 he had a division championship at that point. But I could easily see fans going, that was not right. We don't like how that went down. Like now, let, let's just support the guy, and I actually think it could rally people if he ended if he if he stayed. Yeah, I, I know this is you know, look, eighteen guys have transferred out, but did you hear rumblings throughout the season that players didn't like him? Not a ton. I mean, not not like some mass number of people. There was some you know systemic issue, not like that. But, I mean, but isn't that normal, that Hoke, with a new coach? I mean, I mean, I the guys yeah, who are there I, are recruited I, by Gus Malzahn's staff. I mean, that's normal, I, isn't it? I I agree. Like, yes. I've, I, the, I've been very reluctant to go down that road because, like I said, there's players that I think a lot of. Derek Hall, Chandler Wooten, Owen Papo, Colby Wooden, Andrews Carlson, Nick Brown. There's a bunch of guys that have a seriously high character and are really good individuals that stayed at Auburn, that said, I'm going to stay another year. They could have transferred. They could have done anything they want. So when I hear stuff about him being tough on a player or a coach, I have to think, I have to go, well, what did they say? Why are they there? Because those are people, I mean, think about Chandler Wooten and the kind of person he is. Um, there's weight there. So, I, yes, I think some of it could be overblown. Maybe there's one circumstance that, that has leaked out that those people think they've got calls. Maybe there's something specific. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't like putting a lot of stock in. He's hard or he's tough. I mean, kind of deal with it. I just, that stuff just doesn't bother me. So Hoke, I brought this up earlier. You know, it was a great week up for Auburn up until you know last night or whenever all this stuff broke with what's going on with Bruce Pearl and Bruce Pearl getting locked into that lifetime deal with Alan Green. I assume Alan Green, although he is the guy that brought Harson in, would be safe just because of the connection. Uh, with Bruce Pearl and and you know signing him to that lifetime deal, but where are you right now on Alan Green? If in fact 
you know, some of these allegations come out and Brian Harson is gone? Um, I would not make that assumption. Um, I would not make that assumption. I mean, from what I understand now for a while, his days are numbered, um, period. Um, and so whether, whether let's say Harson were to, to, to leave right now, whether he goes with him or not, I don't know. But um, I, I wouldn't say that because Alan Green got the deal done with Bruce Pearl that he'll coast through this and he's all good. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. Um, and and just for I don't I don't know do you know um, the contract numbers for Harson? I think we have the working perception that he'd be owed nine million dollars if they paid it in full in thirty days, and then a total of eighteen point five over the you know when it was all said and done. Is that the numbers you're working with as well? Have you heard a, a actual remainder of contract number? Um, that might, I hate contracts. I, I, what I had, what I had in my story was that they were going to owe him seventy percent, which is like thirteen yeah. million dollars. Um, and so that's what that's what I was going off of. Which obviously, <laughs> you know, they don't want to pay a dime of that. That's the whole point of it. Yeah, uh, but and that's how that's why you try to fire somebody with calls. Um, not yeah. that Auburn asked me for any advice, nor should they. I'm no attorney, <laughs> but that does not normally go well. I asked Connecticut who thought they had Kevin Ollie dead to rights. Right. They, they tried to fire him with calls. He sued. He got all $11 million. He got $11 million um, and court costs. I don't remember all the details in Kansas, but they tried the same thing with David Beatty, and it was a really small buyout um, that they owed Beatty, and he sucked, and they fired him, but they tried to save the buyout. He sued him, and I think he got most of it settled out of court. So, I'm, I'm, man, I'm telling you, doing this and trying to fire with calls is not easy to do. Yeah, and uh, and I would imagine that's the discussions happening now is is and and last night is is should we go forward with this? You know, and, and look, yeah, you're right. There's some of the snares. Maybe they think that they can do it, and if they go to court and lose, they can settle for less than thirteen million dollars. Like you know, Ollie got it all, but maybe they think they can get less. I, I can't imagine them going forward if they don't have legit call. I can't imagine them saying, you know what, just forget it. Let's just do it and we'll take our chances. Oh, that'd be stupid. I don't think that happens. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't think that happens. That'd be yeah. stupid. But even if you got legit calls, like we said, it opens you up to discovery, which yeah. when you're running a multi million or, or a hundred million dollar athletic program, the one thing you really don't want is discovery. Or, or a corporation. It's not just an athletic program, yeah. but a corporation. The one thing you don't want is discovery. Every corporation has got some secret they don't want coming out. Every one of them, no matter how right. well run they are, they got something they don't want talked about in the court of law. And, and I learned a long time ago, uh, Hoke, if we're even if we're talking about say Brian Harson in discovery, I can ask a question about anything. Or you go flamethrower at yeah. that point. Yeah, I mean, I can ask a question about uh, you know, did you guys steal library books back in the day from such and such? And you know that those questions have to be answered. And yep. it's it's um, it's it's a dangerous. It's, road. it's not a pretty situation. Yeah. Um, all right, so for all the latest, stay tuned with Hoke at underscore J Hokinson, AuburnLive.com, part of On3 Sports. Uh, Hoke, thank you for the time, man. You got it. I hope something happens today because, uh, you know, basketball game tomorrow, I'd like to – I'm sure Bruce is like, really? Yeah, no joke. Bruce, yeah, no joke. <laughs> Biggest story in the country <laughs> of basketball, yeah. All right, Hoke, take yeah. care, man. Thank you. See ya. All right, buddy, that is Justin Hokinson with us on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline.